Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this episode, we're coming to you from the popular Lake of the Ozarks in central Missouri, so stay tuned. So for this episode, we're spending this week in the city of Osage Beach at the Osage Beach RV Park. It's conveniently located amongst many of the commercial enterprises at the northeast end of the lake near the Bagnell Dam. But yet it's a nice little enclave of Ozark Mountain Forest with plenty of shade canopy to keep your rig cool on those hot central Missouri summer days. Full hookup sites at Osage Beach RV Park run from $46 to $49 per night in summer. And those staying four nights or more get a 15% discount. Can you tell that this place used to be a KOA? We have to share a story that will both illustrate the ethic out here in the American heartland and simultaneously blow your mind. Remember how in our last episode, AMB RV repair came out to replace our trailer axle in Sioux Falls, South Dakota? When we arrived in Osage Beach, we noticed some problems with the repair and texted some photos to George and Rick with AMB. The next morning, George and his daughter shocked us by driving 17 hours round trip to Osage Beach to fix what had gone wrong. These are the kinds of experiences that you simply don't think happen anywhere anymore. The 92 mile long serpentine Lake of the Ozarks was formed by the 1931 completion of the Bagnell Dam by the Union Electric Company of St. Louis, impounding the Osage River. At the time of construction, the Lake of the Ozarks was the largest man-made lake in the United States and one of the largest in the world. As it was built for electricity generation and not flood control, the lake rarely varies in surface elevation by more than five feet.
More than 5 million people visit the Lake of the Ozarks annually. Most of the lake's 1,150 miles of shoreline is privately owned, and over 70,000 homes have been built along the lakeshore. We found that this makes accessing the lake difficult for a visitor, but there are places where the shoreline remains in its natural and publicly accessible state. In the 1920s, as land was being acquired for the lake, over 17,000 acres were earmarked for a national park. In 1946, this land was acquired by the state of Missouri for Lake of the Ozark State Park, the state's largest. At the time that we booked our stay at Lake of the Ozarks, the state park's campgrounds were still closed for COVID-19. They have since, however, reopened and provide a tranquil lakeside camping experience. This feels like the perfect opportunity to finally get the kayak off the roof of the truck and go for a paddle.
There's a second Missouri State Park on Lake of the Ozarks with the unique name Ha Ha Tonka State Park. It encompasses over 3,700 acres on the Niagara arm of the Lake of the Ozarks, about five miles south of the city of Camdenton. The park's most notable feature is the ruins of Ha Ha Tonka, an early 20th century stone mansion that was modeled after European castles of the 16th century. Construction of the Ha Ha Tonka Castle was started in 1905 by Robert McClure Snyder Sr., a Kansas City businessman who purchased the large property after first visiting there in 1903. Alluding to the natural springs on the property, Ha Ha Tonka was said to mean big laugh or smiling waters. Following Snyder's death in an auto accident in 1906, the castle was completed by his sons Robert Jr., Leroy, and Kenneth Snyder in the early 1920s before the stock market crash. The building was used as a summer and weekend home by the Snyder family who lived in Kansas City. In the late 1930s, it was used as a hotel, but was destroyed by fire in 1942. The state purchased the castle and grounds in 1978, adapting them for use as a state park and opening them to the public. Aha Tonka State Park features miles of hiking trails to various natural features in the park, including caves, sinkholes, and natural bridges. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed coming with us to Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Coming up next Wednesday, we're going to take the American Heartland Tour 2020 to a beautiful Army Corps of Engineers lake outside of Nashville, Tennessee. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer, now's the perfect time to go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell because we premiere new outdoor RV adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday. Now we'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends family, and on social media. And down below, you'll find the comments section where we always love to hear from you after each episode. Also down below, it's extremely important to us that if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. So until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.